Hey, it's Amberly here, and I am the founder of Fitness Fortitude. Um, I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee for um, the annual coach summit for Beachbody. And this is my third year at Summit, and every year it just gets better and better. It's just something that's so life-changing. The energy here and the people and positivity is just its amazing. Um, I just really want to make this a quick video um, for the people that um, I'm friends with on Facebook and that follow me. Um, I know that, you know, over the past few years there's times where um, you may see me not post as much as I normally do on Facebook. You probably like, you know, some of you may not even notice, but, you know, for the ones that do, you may wonder, oh, what happened to Amber? Like, I haven't seen posts for her in a couple of days. Um, well, I just kind of wanted to explain that a little bit because I want you to know that, you know, I'm a real person and, you know, some may think, oh my gosh, you know, she has this perfect life and, you know, she posts all this positive positive stuff and she's just you know whatever anyways I just want to let you know I'm not perfect by no means um but anyways I um you know I struggled with depression after a wreck that I was in and this past year um probably in the last six months a lot of uh, I guess I would say it's really tried to creep into my life a lot more and you know at times it just it comes in and I have to you know fight it off and you know the times that it come, tries to come back you know instead of you know, keep posting on Facebook, I just, it, for me, that's hard for me to do, I just, you know, whenever I get into those moments where I, you know, it creeps back in, like, I shut down, and I don't want to get out of bed all day, you know, I still help my, my customers, and, and all of that, but, um, you know, for me, I just, I can't, I can't post on those days that, you know, I don't want to get out of bed, because I just feel fake, you know, and, and I'm, I'm not fake, you know, so anyways, I just kind of want to tell, um, about my story a little bit for the ones that don't know already. Um, you know, when I was 18, I had my daughter Haley, and um, I didn't, you know, settle down with her dad at the time because I kind of wanted to get out and experience life, and boy, did I do that. Um, you know, I just want you to know that, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, I've, um, when I was younger, I actually went through a bankruptcy. I actually had an ex try and sue me for um, past due rent and bills from when I was with him because uh, I guess he got angry and re retaliated when I left him. Um, so my life was pretty crazy there for a year or two because of that. Um, finally got my life back together and um, went to school for cosmetology. Um, you know, I had a really hard time during that time trying to go to school because of what I did. It made it really hard for me to get a new vehicle and um, different things. Um, you know, at the time, I really needed a new vehicle and I couldn't couldn't get one because you know he basically ruined my credit. And so you know, um, it was just really difficult for me to get through college school. I can't tell you how many times I went to the gas station and paid in pennies in a baggie and you know just difficult things. But you know, the thing is, is I got through it and I did it. I uh, graduated and I went to a salon and started working. wasn't there very long and we went to a hair show um, with the lady that owned the business and one other girl that I had became friends with. And um, anyways, we were on the way to a hair show and um, on the way there, uh, we actually got hit by an eighteen wheeler. Um, so there again, my life turned upside down and. Yeah, I completely um, hit rock bottom from it. Um, you know, the uh, when it happened, I don't remember anything. I just I know I woke up and um, I looked out the window and there was two cars in front of us. So I just thought we hit the two people in front of us. I really didn't know what was going on. I couldn't move. I just you know could kind of look a little bit, but I couldn't really move my head. And I could kind of see something down right here. And um, the girl that worked at the salon that I had became friends with was sitting in the back seat. And so obviously it was her. And I didn't know, I just didn't know what was going on. And you know, all of a sudden there's like people at the door and trying to, you know, trying to get me out. And um, all I remember is like I couldn't really move my hands at first and I just remember like I was trying to like hit the door trying to get it open. I just remember doing this. I couldn't get it open and 
um, I remember there was a EMT person that came over to the left, and Courtney, that was in the car, that was her name, um, yeah, she was right here, and the EMT guy, you know, took my hand and had me, like, put my hand under her to check her pulse, and wanted me to hold her up, and, um, so I did, and I remember him saying that he could hear her pulse, and then I can remember him saying that he didn't. And I mean, like, at the time, I didn't know what was going on. It was just everything was so blurry and foggy. And it was just like, you know, you know when you watch a movie, when something happens, like, something happens like that that's really traumatic, like, they'll show, you know, somebody, like, going outside of their body, you know, and, like, looking in on the situation. Like, that's what I was. Like, I could just, like, it was like an outer body experience. I don't know how to explain it, but all I could do was, like, it was like I was just watching the scene happen. And, um, you know, when he said she didn't have a pulse, I, I don't know, I just, I was in and out of it. The next thing I remember, I was on an ambulance, and then I remember being at the hospital, and I was on the stretcher, and they were taking me in, and I was just in and out of it the whole time. And I get to the room, and I just, I don't know, it was just a mess, and my aunt finally showed up, and, um, we kind of, she kind of asked, uh, I kept asking about Courtney, and, she asked the nurse, the nurse couldn't tell her, but she knew that from her reaction that, that Courtney didn't make it. So, we went home, I had to stay with my aunt um, for like a week. Um, I couldn't get out of bed, I just basically was in bed rest, and I just, I don't know, I went to the, I went to Courtney's funeral, but it still didn't really make sense that she didn't make it. So I was just like, choked up, and on all kinds of medicine. Um, but after staying with my aunt for a little while, I had to go home and, you know, uh, stay home for a little while. Um, still didn't really believe what had happened happened um, with Courtney. But um, finally at some point, I guess it was probably a month and a half, two months later maybe, I decided to try and go back to work. And um, I remember the first day there, I was trying to do an eyebrow wax. And I went over there and I just I couldn't do it. My back was hurting so bad. And I was talking to another girl that worked there, and I just I felt like I needed to go home because I just I was hurting so bad. <laughs> it's crazy, my back's killing me right now. Like I'm about to die <laughs> from today, uh, from all the sitting, from our trainings the last couple of days. But um, anyways, um, back to my story. Uh, she told me I needed to call a chiropractor, so I did, and go to the chiropractor, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, you cannot work. Like you have you have to go back home." And blah 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 so I did and I didn't realize that I had messed up my back um you know I just thought that when I went back to work you know I thought well my back will get better you know it's just gonna be something that's you know in time it'll get better I didn't realize that I'd hurt it as bad as you know it was um but you know I didn't know that my life was going to change as much as it did and um just for the next couple of years I basically I just sit at home and I couldn't do anything. I was just in pain 24-7, all day, every day. Um, and during that time, I um, had PTSD from what happened with Courtney. I really, you know, had a hard time dealing with why did I make it, and she didn't. You know, she was engaged, about to get married. She was just such a good person, and you know why? You know, just all the whys. You know, why? Why me? Why? Why did I get to? she and I just had such a hard time with it and I went through a huge depression um, I gained a lot of weight I you know basically all I did all day was sit around and uh, watch the Huddy Channel and Dateline every day um, drink hoax and I just I gained probably 20-25 pounds I guess um, and I was a pretty active person before the wreck happened um, but when the wreck happened I just you know, when I had to stay at home, I couldn't be as active. I couldn't, you know, do things with my daughter that I used to. And it just so happened that it, the wreck happened. It was actually her birthday. So that made it even worse. And I had a premonition about it because the day before it happened, I told my aunt I didn't want to go to the hair, to the hair show that I had, you know, what if something happened on that day and it was her birthday. And I remember talking to her on the phone. I had a tear in my eye. She was like, no, you know, you've already set it up. And, you know, even that day that it happened, I had actually went down the road and turned around and went back and wasn't going to go 
there were several times that day I wasn't gonna go, but I ended up still going. So now anytime I get that feeling, I don't do it. But anyways, the point is, is that, you know, um, after all of that, I uh, decided at one point, I, I ran across Beachbody, and I started drinking Shakeology every day, and of all programs, I decided to do Insanity with a friend. I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but, you know, I tried it, and, um, with chronic neck and back pain, it's pretty crazy. And so definitely the definition of insanity, but you know, I did what I could and tried to do what I could and you know, I'd, I would do a workout and I'd be out for a week, but you know, I continued to do it. And I lost a bunch of weight with that, the Shakeology, and, and just completely changed my life. And um, so, uh, some people just walked in. So it just, anyways, it completely changed my life. Um, so the reason I'm making this video is, for another reason, is that a lot of people think that this whole thing is a scam, and it's not. I mean, honestly, like, it's hard for me to say because I haven't told very many people this. Um, you know, my aunt, one of my close friends, and uh, my boyfriend knows, and when I went on a team retreat last year with our team, I had actually told them, but, um, you know, about my life after I had gotten so bad, I had actually tried to take pills, and I just decided I didn't want to be here anymore, and after I took the pills, I remember sitting on my aunt's washer, and um, I'm seeing a picture of my daughter, and realized at that moment, what am I doing, you know, and luckily, I was stupid enough to know that you can't take six or seven like, pills, you have to take a lot more than that for anything to happen, so I got really, really lucky. Um, and that's, it's hard for me to talk about, but anyways, um, it's just hard to talk about because I know that if I do this video, my daughter's going to see it, and she doesn't, she doesn't know, but I need to let her and, you know, other people know that no matter how bad, how hard life gets, like, it can always get better, and, you know, with, with each body doing the workouts and doing the shakeology and doing the personal development, I mean, it saved my life. If I wouldn't have done all that, I know that I wouldn't be here right now, but, um, you know, there's just things that have happened sometimes that that depression, even though I got off all the pills, you know, from doing the shakeology and everything, there's times that that depression starts to kick back in, I just have to fight it off as much as I can, but I just I just want you to know that I'm a little person. You know, if you think that my life's perfect on Facebook, it's it's not, you know. I still struggle, you know. I just I try and strive every day to be as positive as I can be and to help as many people as I can. Um struggling and if, <laughs> if you're struggling and you don't know what to do you know reach out to me if you need somebody to talk to you because I'm pretty sure I've been there I've been through, through it all um, 